You're listening to the IFL TV podcast in association with Lonsdale MTK Global, sponsored by William Hill. This is Coogan Cassis for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're in Dubai here for the Rising Star Show here at the Comrade Hotel. I'm joined by Lightning Junior, Tony Curtis. Yeah. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. All good. So you said to me, you come up to me and you went, I've got a bone to pick with you. So what is that bone? Let's have it out right now. I wanted to do an interview with you a couple of years ago when I first started. But now we're here. Finally here. So did you physically ask me? No. I just asked you. I texted you on Instagram, didn't I? Anyways. I, I haven't seen this message, to be fair. So am I forgiven? Can we start, start off again? Yeah, we'll start again. So you're a two-time schoolboy champion? Yeah. Uh, MTK Box Cup winner? Yeah, I won that as well. Yeah. yeah. Anything else you want? Yeah, I just wanted to give you an exclusive here now. I've, me and uh, Danny Vaughan just signed a contract in a couple of years. I'm going to sign I'll sign with him okay. and we're going to show something to the pro ranks that no one's ever seen. Boxing's never seen nothing like me. No one. No one at this age is, is as good as me. I don't care who you bring to the table, I'll, sp- I'll knock that spin. I'll knock and spark out. That's very interesting. Very confident, obviously. Can't be sure I'd be like, oh, hidden up, I'm not saying anything. I'm just going to put it out here to tell the truth. I like this attitude. Who are some of the fighters that you've kind of grown up watching? Who do you admire? Who do you aspire to be? I'm going to tell you now Prince. Prince, Tiafimo Lopez, and Roy Jones Jr. And my top three. When you say Prince, do you mean Prince Nassim Hamid? Yeah, Prince Nassim Hamid. Any similarities between you and uh, Prince Nassim? Yeah, and my whole style is based around him. Well, not everything. I can do other stuff, but that's my that's that's where I got my style from. I, I, no one can do it like me. I, I've met the prince myself, and he's told me himself that no one, he's never seen no one like me do it like him. But obviously, I can't just do what he did. I've got to be better. I've got to better myself. So that means I've got to take one thing from everyone up that I think is great. Same so means Muhammad Ali, Roy Jones, Sugar Ray Leonard, and I put it into one. That's what makes me so unique. So put all them fighters into one, and here we are, lightning. Lightning, in the flesh. So you're 15 years at the moment. When do you see yourself in the pro ranks? Because you're still young. I would like to go pro at 16. I want to get in there as soon as possible. I'm sure I'm with what. But God willing, we'll see how it goes, see if I grow much more. You said you base your style on Nassim Hamid, yeah. but I'm assuming that's not all kind of your style and there's other chinks to your armour. Yeah. Like I said, top three, Roy Jones. I like Roy Jones' style as well. I like boxing with my hands down. So it is basically just everyone like that. Larry. I like that. We all like that. What club are you at and who, who currently trains you? Obviously, you've just given us a little insight to what may be in the future, but who currently trains you and what club you're at? I currently train with Billy Rumble in the sitting bomb. Very good trainer, good, very good talker. And yeah, I'll be boxing with him in the cadets in the next couple of weeks. And then I'll win that and come back here and then get ready for some other uh, championships. I'm assuming that's your little brother there. Yeah, my little brother. Come in, Stan. Come in, mate. Let me just let me just come back here a little bit so we can get you both in. There we go. So, <coughs> there we go. What's your name? Stan the Man. Stan the Man. Kick How old are you, Stan? Ten. Ten. Have you two had a little move about? Obviously, you're a bit bigger and older. I about all the time. I teach him everything. Everything I know goes to him. He's a bit of a Canelo fan, so we have a bit of a rivalry. Don't we stand? Yeah, cool. So when you two have a little move about, does he take liberties and does he... No. No? <laughs> yeah, kind of. I don't. I teach him. I teach him. You don't punch him up, though, do you? No, I don't punch him up. Of course I don't. He punches me up. Is that what you want to do as well, Stan? You want to get into... Uh... He wants to do the same as me. Exactly that. He wants to win all these championships, do the pros, he wants to beat. Make all the money like I do. Not only am I going to be the best thing boxers in, I'm going to be the most paid boxer. No one, no one's going to see an entertainer like me. Trust me. Coming from my mouth, I'm telling you now, I'm going to be the biggest entertainer in the boxing history. 
Wow, I love this talk. So, your brother said he likes watching Roy Jones, he likes watching Naz. Um, who do you like watching? Canelo, Muhammad Ali, or Cool Prince the same. Roy Jones, a bit like that. Yeah. Do you want to do a little quick minute sparring now? <laughs> Come then. Come on, let's have it. I was joking, clearly joking. This ain't the time or the place for this. But listen, we'll keep tabs, obviously, on your career. I do have you on Instagram, because I just had a little look yeah. there, and uh, there is a message on there. I haven't read it. No, Go on. I'm just letting you all know, me and him are going to change the game. Not change the game, change the fact in boxing. Change the meaning of boxing. Let's just put it like that. Not change the game, we're going to change it completely. Knock them all out. Obviously, I'm not being too cocky. I'm going to be humble as well. Don't, I want, don't take me to be too arrogant. I'm just, I'm just going to tell the truth from now on. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. I don't think you come across cocky at all. I think there's nothing wrong with you becoming confident. The water bottle's gone down. I'm a bit nervous now, by the way. The water bottle's just gone down. I've got a lot of haters on Instagram. I've just got one thing to say. Hate me or love me, you're still going to watch me. There we go, there we go. Listen, on that note, I appreciate your time. Stand the man. And Mr Lightning, have you got anything else you guys want to add before we finish? Oh, I'm good. Not much. <laughs> just watch this space. Thank you, Kibun. Top man. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for listening to the IFL TV podcast, sponsored by William Hill, in association with Lonsdale MTK Global.